Hello folks, this is Graham Walker coming to you live from uh, Trafalgar Warehouse uh, in the middle of Sheffield uh, and here I am with uh, my old mucker who we were speaking to earlier on this week. Yeah. I've got Martin Ware from Evan 17. Hey we've got Tracy and we've got Sarah, the collaborative artist on this fantastic project, Martin. Uh, I mean, it's just unbelievable. And we've got a sneak peek tonight, haven't we? You're not quite finished yet. No, no, there's several projections that are missing at the moment, but uh, it's, you'll probably be able to tell it's quite amazing, the whole thing. Well, I'm just going to show uh, on the screen at the back of you there, um, and as we're looking now, um, I, I, this is footage, I think, that you shot in uh, yeah. Forge Masters here in Sheffield. So yeah, just tell so me about that, yeah. In Port Talbot. Port Talbot. Um, and, and, and basically this is the multimedia experience. We're going to show people some of the other things you've got. You've got some fantastic photographs. You've got some fantastic screen prints and various other things. When will it be open? When can people come and actually see it? Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, the yeah. big launch. Okay. All the great and good will be here. Lord Mayor's coming. <laughs> <laughs> what time does it open? Six and uh, it'll end at nine. But um, we've also got an amazing thing going on. We've got some dancers that have come up from uh, a BA course in dance in um, where you teach actually. You yeah, tell, you at, talk it's about at uh, Trinity St David, uh, Carmarthen, uh, and Colour Cigar. It's Colour Cigar uh, in Trinity. So it's there, it's the BA dance degree, and the third year students, our final year students, are, um, are performing. They, they've responded to our work. And they've created a piece with a uh, choreographer, uh, Gwyneth well, Emberton. Gwen Emberton. So we've got what we're talking here. We've got dancers, we've yeah. got projections, we've got screen prints, we've got photographs. Yeah. Banners, in fact, I'll tell banners. you what, I'm just... We'll show you the banner in a minute. I, well, well, I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll take a quick look at the, at the pictures first. I'm just going to, while we're doing that, I'm just going to give people a, another bit of a look here at, at, at that work. But if you want to come over here and just show me uh, yeah. some of this yeah. fantastic yeah. photography, yeah. then... Um, so, uh, Tracy, I think this is, uh, this is your doing, isn't it? Yeah, photograph. I mean, we all took photographs, but yes. these, I had a higher res camera. So, um, yeah, the photographs are... Yeah, so, can we, can, uh, if we just go down to the, st the start of it and we'll come over this way. So, just, just come and show me what we're looking at so here. So, were they all taken in, um, in, in Sheffield or were they taken in Port Talbot? Sheffield, weren't they? Yeah, the majority were in Sheffield. Um, there's a couple from Port Talbot, like you can see the blast furnace at the end of Port Talbot. Yeah, this is the building. Um, yeah, this is, yeah. There. This is like, can you see the guy working at the top there? Um, that's Sheffield. This is Sheffield, uh, with nice sort of scrap kind of shapes. Of yeah, so, scrap although this is talking there. about the heritage of, of, of Sheffield steel, we're talking yeah. about that's a chronicle in it, as it is in 2018 here as well. Yeah, yeah. This is still very much a steel city, isn't it, Martin? Yeah. Totally, totally. And um, I mean, yeah, these are beautiful photographs. They all look like kind of abstract work. A lot of it, I think. I mean, look at this. this is incredible. I think it's just beautiful. And, I've got, I've got to ask you um, as well. Um, there's, oops, there's some fantastic. Uh, there's some fantastic noises in the background, Martin. <laughs> Just tell me what's going off. I well, mean, these are recordings, aren't this they? This is our collaborative soundscape composed of sounds from Port Talbot and from Forge Masters in Sheffield. Actually, various, various manufacturing places in Sheffield um, that we've done throughout the years. Also, some electronic music, including some stuff that I composed 40 years ago for the early Human League. Wow. So, um, I, and again, I'm just going to show some of that. So, uh, here, here we're looking at some of the footage. Um, as we are actually where you recorded the sounds as well but of course this isn't just about photography it's not just about video there are some amazing screen prints here this, I'm just going to show people these and then we'll talk to Sarah and she can but I just want people to see some of the beauty of some of this it's just be absolutely fantastic Photographic stencils and hand cut paper stencils. Um, so, uh, Tracy and myself have worked on uh, the majority of these, but the end one there is a holograph. Let, let's just get some of these in perspective. If you just come over here a little minute so you can yeah. just actually tell people a little bit about what we're looking at here. What I mean, and how yeah. you've done it. So, how have you done this? All right, so what we've done is we've layered colours of hand torn paper. We've screen printed uh, these layers, they're uh, sort of paper stencils and then uh, screen printed on top of photographic stencil from, the Instagram, um, from Instagram photographs that Tracy's taken. 
Yeah, we'll just have a walk down here as well. So is it, again, all the work was inspired from either Forge Masters or Port Talbot yeah, in Wales? Yeah, these are all based at Port Talbot. It's just be, they, yeah. Now, I mean, people are going to want to know, is this stuff for sale or is it? Yeah, is it, it is. Yeah, so the, all of these are editions of 30, so every single one is hand printed. They're all slightly different from each other. Uh, but they are an edition, so there are 30 of all of these pens. Fantastic. So, um, so obviously screen printing, I mean, that's your bag, isn't it, uh, to be honest with you, Sarah? But I think the, the nice thing about this collaboration is that it's actually brought out the best in all of you, hasn't it? I mean, Martin, you were telling me about that earlier. Um, you've learnt new skills, haven't you, between you? We've been learning each other's skills, actually. Yeah. And um, embroidery is not one of my top subjects, but we're <laughs> about to find the amazing right let's have a look at this wow look at this so this is a this is a banner that's been embroidered i mean that is yeah. just absolutely so beautiful now now it's it's called power martin i guess it is power to the people this isn't power it to the people. Come on. <laughs> wow that's beautiful let's just come in here let's have a look so, so basically, a lot of the, the, all this is going to be hung. This yeah, is yet yeah, to be yeah, still be done. Like so I'm just going to turn around there and just show people that absolutely this is still very much a work in progress. You got um, words up there as well yeah. that we're uh, we're putting together. It's taking, to it taking a little while, but you're getting there. You're getting there. I'm just going to go back to the screen again and just show people some of the yeah. fantastic footage that you've been shooting. And then can we just have a walk over here, yes. Martin, as well? And you can tell me what's uh, happening in in this so, in this section over here. here and of course some more lettering but the um, the screens over here are actually a piece that um, I originally created with a friend of mine Malcolm Garrett who's a famous graphic designer which is all about Sheffield and the effect of Sheffield on the world and it was originally shown in the Venice Art Biennale uh, sorry the Venice Architectural Biennale in 2006 and I got permission to re-show it again here so this is a, yet another piece of depth to the whole exhibition. Um, people should feel very proud of Sheffield and uh, its connection. Well, you're so proud of it that it's brought you back home, hasn't it? Um, yeah. uh, now, just tell people again where they can see it. I'll put some detail up, but just remind people where it is and when they can see okay. it. Okay, Trafalgar Warehouse on Trafalgar Street, right in the centre of town, just off Division Street, runs down towards the moor. Um, it's on from the 30th of April, every day from 11 till 6 in the evening. Uh, it's not on on Sundays and Mondays, but it's on until April the 13th. You must come and see it. It is free. And it is really is something that we've worked very hard on for four years. Uh, and I'm just going to, um, I'm just, I've just been putting some details up there about various uh, things where people can find out more. So, Martin, this is your Twitter account and also this is uh, illustriouscompany.co.uk. Yeah. This is your sound right. scape company sound where they can find out details there. Um, uh, and the other thing that I want to do, well, uh, I've got, I know I've got you all in civvies, but I've got to put this great picture of you up in all up in our <laughs> and, and while I'm doing that, I'm just going to put up the, uh, the Twitter accounts for uh, uh, Sarah and Tracy as well. And you've also got one, a special one that's... Yes. Um, uh, Project, that's uh, Power Project New. Power Project New. So we've got we've got details of that up there as well. So um, yeah, I, I mean obviously still um, uh, still a bit of work to do, guys. But uh, we're getting there, aren't we? Oh yeah, we're there. We're there pretty much. There. Yes. This is definitely going to be open in time for Friday. <laughs> yeah, we're there. Yeah, no. It, well, it, the launch is actually tomorrow night at six, but that's uh, in, invite only. We can only accommodate a certain number of people. But we've got Lord Mayor coming, did we tell you that? You've mentioned it a few times. <laughs> um, uh, we're just going to have another look round, but before we do, uh, there was some sensational video that you did where you were all talking about this exhibition yes. as well. We'll just show that one yeah, more yeah. time because I think people will get a little bit more depth and understanding about what you're doing. So we'll do that and we'll just, then we'll come back to you just for another uh, uh, sign off. I think there is a beauty, not only in industrial architecture, but in the process of manufacturing. Well, Power um, is a collaborative project. The idea came from the fact that uh, all of our parents worked within the steel industry. It's the celebration of power, the celebration of manufacture in what is becoming post-industrial 
working class Britain. From Martin's perspective, it's um, three-dimensional soundscapes. From my side, it's it's printmaking, and um, from Tracy's, um, multimedia, um, including photography and embroidery and print also. In terms of the process of how we uh, learn each other's skill sets, I think is a very important part of it because what I've always believed is when people learn each other's skills, that's where the interesting stuff is, that, that meniscus between the different skills. Um, people don't know what the rules are, so therefore they don't know if they're breaking them or not. And I'm hoping that um, the final product within the kind of DNA of the exhibition will be something that's genuinely innovative. And this is our oh, craft onto paper. So this want. is just look, a sample. They look really thing. different now that they, they've sort of oh, been um, sort of blown up. Oh. Yeah. You know, we made these. Curve. When it's wow. sewn, we can just like sort of make a structure that could come together that could be the size That'd of be a, amazing. We could cover a building with it, you know? I think we, what you'll end up with is the most incredible experience for general members of the public and also a younger generation who have never really understood the importance of manufacturing industry. And, and, and I think the love for our subject matter will shine through in the final exhibition. All right, Martin. Well, uh, yeah. we, we're still here at Trafalgar Warehouse, but we've got um, uh, we're actually we now got the song and dance aspect of this as well. Yeah. So just I'm tell me what's dance. happening. <laughs> I'm not going to sing either, but um, our dancers for tomorrow night are going to perform. Have been part of this project all the way through, and um, we just want to give you a real sneak peek of a world premiere of the, the piece called Inga. Okay, take it away, guys. So there you go guys, that really was a sneak peek, wasn't yeah, it Martin? Yeah, really. And I'm talking about crushed by the wheels of industry, I thought we were going to get crushed there at one point. <laughs> yeah, it's fantastic. So we're very proud to have them involved and we're very excited about tomorrow. So and, uh, come and just come, the whole, come and see the whole thing on. Can I just ask these guys as well? Yes. Would you mind if I just talk to somebody here? Can somebody just tell me who the who the who the troop is? Who? Come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Can you just tell me who the guys are and what it's all about? And how you've got involved? If you get well, your breath back. <laughs> we started off with a project about going in the, uh, the studio at. Uh, 
obviously to promote steel industry. A lot of improvisation was used, a lot of imagery, videography was used, but it was a great experience to go through all the different art forms to create, or I can say a mass production of different creativity of all the arts. As steelwork is an art in its own way, it's nice to show the difference of it can be physical, it can be speech, it can be uh, like still drawings, but all, all hard work is the same even though it's different calibers but they all relate to each other and it's been a great process. Excellent, excellent. Uh, and um, uh, this gentleman here, I've got to talk to you as well. Okay. You, you, you're, actually, you're the choreographer, you've put all this together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, with the, with the students of the university, yeah. And uh, college. And um, I, I'm hearing voices from all over the country as well here. We've got... Uh, yeah, well, mostly from Wales, I think. So yeah. We're, we're, we're based in Carmarthen in West Wales. Um, and uh, most, of, most of the students are from there. Or there's a few emigres from, uh, from England, I think, as well. I'm just actually sharing the screen here with another camera we've got in the other room, showing some of the footage that was shot there. Uh -huh. I mean, this is terrific, because this is what you've done. You've brought the steelworks to life in this choreography, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, we um, kind of use a lot of the um, videos that we found on, online of different steelworkers, going back right back into the 1920s of like that really physical labour that it used to be, and then moved it towards uh, the more kind of technical, modern-day, computerised uh, steel workers so it's uh, I'm really inspired by Martin's uh, sound and and also the drawings and the the imagery of Sarah and Tracy as well it's yeah. Been, yeah yeah uh, yeah I'm just going to show a bit more of that and I'm just going to thank you for your time and I'm just going to get the guys back so we can you can just tell us a little bit more about what's going to be happening over this Easter period so um, uh, Martin yeah um, just just remind everybody again where we are what this is about and and what people can get to see if you guys want to come in as well yeah, and we're at the Trafalgar warehouse uh, the exhibition called power is going to be starting at 11 a.m. on Saturday this Saturday it's gonna be on for two weeks until Friday the 13th um, it's not on on Sundays and Mondays so don't come then but 11 till 6 every day it's free don't miss it it's astonishing uh, and, and just remind people again, um, and, and I'm, again, I'm, I'm showing pictures of you guys and some of the footage in there, what this is all about and, and why, you do, why you've done it. Well, it's all about the celebration, really, of manufacture, manufacture and the steel industry. So, yeah. and, you, and you're bringing it in all formats, Sarah, as well. Yeah. I mean, you've got some, some of your absolutely fantastic um, uh, screen prints. Again, I'll just show a little bit of that as well while you're talking about well, it, but just remind and people. And in fact, you know, although it's been four years in the making, us collaborating together, um, really, separately, we've been working on this theme sort of all of our careers. So, yeah. Yeah. You know, I and, and, and again, I've got this fantastic picture of you. I think you were at uh, Sheffield Forge Masters with the hard hats on, which just looked absolutely <laughs> terrific. Um, yeah, tonight, you're, you're obviously in your, in your civvies. Um, but you're actually bringing uh, the steelworks very much back to life in the art of the city centre, even with the art beat. I mean, I need to ask about this. Oh, yeah. You've put your heart and soul into this, or is it? Yeah, that's my heartbeat there. It's when, when we were filming, we picked it up uh, in the soundscape as well. So, yeah, it literally is like heart and soul. Yeah, and in terms of artists working together, I mean, have you learnt quite a bit from one another? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, because we've all got our different techniques and ways of working. So it's like sort of really quite nice how we're yeah. sort of all knits and but it, weaves it's also, together. It's also quite hard, you know, it's really quite hard to collaborate because everyone's got their own views and opinions and so it's We're all opinionated. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 we're all pretty much think quite similarly yeah. though, don't yeah. we, yeah. really? So, it, no, it's been, it's been lovely. Yeah, so I know quite it's, hard that it's, 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 yeah. it's <laughs> my, uh, my chance to go to art college. I never got to go to university or art college or anything. University of Life, Martin. Yeah, University of Life. So, I mean, I, I learn, I'm learning from the best here. You know? All right. All right, well, listen, guys, I'm just going to um, uh, uh, clip back to the, uh, yeah. uh, the, the, the video over there, and I'm just going to take people for a, one final yeah, quick yeah. look round. It's not quite finished yet, but let's, okay. um, let's just take, let's take people back down there. So, um, I, I'm not too sure if this is one of the main uh, routes in, but... Um, yeah, this is the route in. I'll have to just duck down to get under here. There we go. Uh, but as you can see, we've got these fantastic screen prints. So we'll just take you down here and just show you this one more time. And again, I've got all the details of this. This is called Power. It's a celebration of Sheffield's steel heritage. Um, and um, uh, we've got some fantastic uh, screen prints, got some amazing photographs taken at Port Talbot and also taken 
at Forge Masters uh, right here in Sheffield. Uh, and then some wonderful photography, uh, which we'll just cut to, which is on the on the big screen. It's going to be a big projection. <clears throat> There's going to be uh, yeah, more projections around around the building. Uh, Marty's just been saying every screen, every wall is going to be used. Um, and then we've got some more floor projections. As you can see, yeah. the scaffolding's still in, so this really is what we'd call a, a sneak peek look. So get yourselves down here. It's over Easter. Um, it starts um, on uh, uh, March the 30th and it'll run until April the 13th. Yeah. So Don't listen, thanks guys. Thanks for your, thanks, <laughs> thanks, thanks for your time. Pleasure. And uh, Sarah, uh, have, a, have, a great, have a great Easter. I'm sure you'll have a cracking time. Yeah. I've got yeah. to say, yeah. isn't yeah. it? Thank you. All right. <laughs> so this is Graham Walker signing off. Uh, please tell all your friends about this and uh, come down to the art of uh, Sheffield and find out what Steel City is really all about. Yeah.